This is The Party with Serene and Pearl. Get it right, P-O-D-D-Y. Get in here, you trim little ladies. Some of you, hey, you're, you're not trim little lady yet, and, but that's your decision to make. Maybe you um, never want to be little. Danny, your desire was not little. little. You mean little, trim little... Trim little mamas. Trim little medium strong mamas. Yeah. You know some. You, you know some strong. people. Um, they have big bones, mm-hmm. and that you know you, people think that that's like a like a cop out. You know, like oh, you, I'm just big bone, but it's it's true. People that's have true. bigger bones. You could tell. You look at the wrists and the ankles. Yes, um, you've spent a lot of your life looking at wrists and ankles. We I know have. that, Danny, and our party listeners who do listen on a regular basis do know that you have what you would call. A it would be called Petite. um no ankles and, and a wrist rexia. Oh, yeah. That, so that your, you want your wrist to be larger. It's like the opposite of Look when the, people have anorexia. They want things smaller. You want your yeah. wrists and ankles to be larger. It matches your calf, at, though, Dan. Look at these little baby ankles. Yeah, but it it, it matches this. the calf. The calf. Yeah. Yeah. Does it taper down nicely? Because yeah, I've always yeah. wanted a good taper. Yeah. Yeah. I you think ever, you think that think about things that not many people do. Well, I you know if I had to, here's the thing. Here's what you got to realize. Do, 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 do they have good taper? Like you know, yeah. do people watch in the airport? I've never wondered it's all about if, the taper. I've beer. never wondered if they have a good taper, and I've never looked at wrists and well, ankles. I really, really do love a good people watching. I'm telling you what, I get in trouble on that cruise, yeah. bro. Mm. I had people moving away from me, moving Speaking the table the away. I've got I something. Could tell As I you, was getting too yeah. involved in their combo. Yeah, it's bad. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm really into proportions and the the, the architecture of it all. So men, woman, when your people watching you are wrist and ankle watching. Yeah, I, I, I'll check out. But you like the bigger wrist and ankles though. Yeah, really for me, I start knees down. I want to see a nice taper. <laughs> um, I want to, you know, there's a, um, the golden ratio is at play. And I'm sort of just laying that out kind of visually. Um, people, I think people feel it after a couple minutes. Probably. But. Nobody starts parties like us. I do want to say, we were just talking about a cruise. Serene and I went on a cruise with our husbands. The reason, the main reason. Must be nice. Yeah, must be. But hey, it, was, it was a work cruise. That's we all tried we to finish our book work. because when we are home here, Danny, it wasn't port days, yeah. it was sea days. What, were you the one shoveling the coal into the furnace? Yes, we were. <laughs> Down under? <laughs> I might no, as no, well no. have. We, we're so tap, busy here and that's let me talk and that's why oh, what a, well, that's the topic of, of she this. said it she like it was in parentheses no. she put it in parentheses I've gone there I've, I'm, I'm tired of doing the big sigh and then let me talk please no it just needs to come in the middle of my sentence um, but Serena and I when we're here we're so busy we cannot finish our darn Trim Healthy Wisdom book so yeah. we're like we're going to go away no meetings not a thing we're okay. just going to write when we're not eating Oh, Look, even on the yeah. port days, Pearl didn't even get off some of the time. No, no, no. We were riding. We are so close to finish. I don't know when this. Okay, second quarter of 2024 is when we're set to release. But I want to say. Okay. So we had a blast. We ate a lot of healthy food. I had a few desserts. Serena, of course, never did. But overall, we ate really great and healthy. But I have to say, Serene, I was going to tell you, and I haven't told you this. Yes. You know, we had a most amazing breakfast. They like they had good food there. You can make your omelets. You know, we had oatmeal. We brought all our fixings for the oatmeal. The most incredible, beautiful fruit, cut perfect every yes, morning. Yes, it was it was delicious. Good food. We're on princess ship, and they do really well. Um, but I wouldn't do my nested oatmeal as I we've explained here, where you do the plant protein powder with a little almond milk, stevia, and water, and then you put your oatmeal on top, and then you put all the toppings. It was too much to carry to the. You to couldn't the do it. Buffet. Yeah, so I was just doing oatmeal and I was having a couple of eggs for protein. I was just crossovering and mixing, matching. But when I get on a cruise, I get this thing, you know, fear of missing out. And I would look at the buffet and see yeah. all the other things. And oh, I should have had that. I could have, maybe I'll come back in an hour and have that. You know, it was all going through my brain as usual. I, I didn't feel completely satisfied. You did. You don't have this problem. You would be like, I'm stuffed. And I would still be looking at the buffet. And it was kind of a little well, disconcerting. You, you, you forgot what to do. Yeah, at home, I just have my stuff. No, 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 no. You get a plate and you take the things you're worried about to your room on the plate. You're allowed to do that. Heaps of people were doing that. Yeah, but I, 
I just, and that way, I don't want to graze and eat all no, day. No, you don't. You just take it. You forget about it. <laughs> no, Once no, you've no. got it on your person, yeah. it's not going to other... work for me. You do do that, don't yeah. you? I never ate the stuff that I took to the room. But anyway, it was still a good cruise with all that. I usually know that kind of happens to me. But I got home. I was really looking forward to my own routine and my healthy foods and my home. You know, two weeks that cruise was. We went right through the Panama Canal. And, and at the end, I was like, my own kitchen. Oh, yeah, yeah. I came home. I had my nested oatmeal, which is the plant protein, you know, in a lovely liquid nest, the oatmeal on top and the toppings, which are blueberries for me, goji berries, teaspoon of cacao nibs and a teaspoon or tablespoon, whatever I want, crossover E of nut butter. Gentle sweet cinnamon sprinkled all over. I ate it and the sense of satiety Mm -hmm. came over me. There was nothing else I could have needed, wanted. I went through the whole morning just like... Oh, yeah, I'm just good. I'm just good. I I felt energized, but I felt completed. And I was like, so since then, I haven't gotten one morning since being home without having that. And I just, for me, I don't know what it is. It does something to me psychologically. Yeah, it's your passy. Yeah, my Before passy. Before we, we, we digress. Why are you looking you? at me so strangely? I didn't do that necessary cellar plant protein, although, you know, if that happens, that's a bonus. I'm no, just it's the it pure, affects me. It's the pure delight of simple things. Yes. It's, it's the love affair she has with her food. Yeah. Oh, is that, that, like... that is that that makes people hungry, I think. Before we go into like to love delve food. into the to the meat that you're gonna bring us today, I do wanna say, anyone interested in a cruise? The princess is the way to go. Or the Dutch Holland, which is the grandmother of the princess. Not Dutch right? Holland, Holland, America. Good girl. Oh, whatever. You're the prince. <laughs> but the point is, I'm not trying to like Make you mean Caribbean for, and all those oh, other... for other prudish people that don't want parties. If you don't want to be oh. sloshing beer in a yeah. hot tub with a bunch of <laughs> bikiniites, <laughs> then you go to the princess. In fact, the cruise director, he was a hilarious guy. He was like, oh my goodness, did we party last night? I saw some people up uh, three... Uh, four, even four minutes past 11. Oh, yeah. God. And he's like, and that was the latest night we had. Yeah. Yeah, unlike that uh, C bus you took us on. Yeah. And we were in line, like getting our passport out when we were, you know, boarding the, the ship. And we had so many beautiful older couples yelling out, what you doing on here with us, folks? Yeah, we were the youngins, man. This I is felt, princess. Yeah. yeah. I was so, I mean, I'm a grandma in my 50s and I felt so young. Yeah, really because most teenager. people were in their 70s, you know, 80s. It was beautiful. A beautiful celebration. Married people that had yes. been the, like, and you know, when you go there and the, they have the shows at night and they always ask, well, how long have you been married? You know, so many of them, like 30 years was nothing. Oh, if you said 30 years, wow. you, were, you, you were almost embarrassed. So this is the cruise for the mature. <laughs> Mature people that that are, yeah that have had their partners for a long time and they're just enjoying this life. This is a and, nicer cruise. Oh yeah. Is anyway. it more expensive? Oh, it wasn't know. bad, honestly. It. I didn't even look. Wasn't yeah. bad, Dan Dan. But you might like the party cruises. I feel like you could gel with a bit of nightclubbing. No, I remember he came on that cruise with us. My only other cruise, all he did was turn <laughs> his people watching. You weren't from the <laughs> ankle down, that's for sure. <laughs> But it wasn't sleazy. It was people that that weren't ready for their bikinis. Yeah, it was almost. Like you know what I saw? Everyone's ready for a bikini if they want to be in a bikini. Oh yeah, I agree. come on now, come on now. Yeah, I would say, and the tolerances are are wide. You know, it, it's not like there's just one taper. There there is a, a forest. Right, but there was tapers. lots for you to be busy. <laughs> yeah, but you know, the greatest thing I saw on this cruise, it was a guy, and he he was. He was browner than me, mm-hmm. and I get brown in the in the summer. And in the small of his back, he had a tuft of hair. <laughs> it was its own afro <laughs> popping out of his bathing suit. Just one area? Or? It was just this one little oval right above his bathing suit line, and it popped out like an like an afro, like an unwatered afro. And I just thought to myself, it's like, it popped out like a watered afro, though. No, it was really dry. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I just thought, I remember thinking it would be so easy to shave that. And there's no way you don't know about it. It's not like, you know, that's normally shaved, but it's just been a day. This was commitment. It was a commitment to growth. <laughs> okay, got to ask you something. And I have such good meat here that I've got to bring. I don't think I'll ever eat again. <laughs> well, it was upsetting. 
I'm off my nest. You know what? You know, what was the, you know what was really upsetting? <laughs> Is I had to follow him. The staircase was narrow <laughs> enough, and, and I got behind him, and I had to follow it. It's not like you can just take a left and be like, No, you can't on the down cruise. The long People corridors. go their own speed. And that's and it. Own speed. And I was following the guy. <laughs> I wanted to pull it. <laughs> But I do. Oh, oh man, I I wasn't to go in another area, but I'm going to get to the meat. Um, okay. So, Serena and I have talked a lot between ourselves, and then some others. We had a private group for a while. Um, about about the benefits of slow breathing. Hugely. I wanted to bring a whole party on this today because you just think, oh, this is about breathing. Blah. I mean, too simple, too easy. What well, everyone breathes, it's really no, not going to do. Everybody anything. doesn't breathe. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so uh, I got something to t- tell you from last night too. Jump in. No, should I? Right now? Is it about? It's breathing? about breathing. Okay, you may. Um, my son. It's about the tough to pair you're out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no toughs, unfortunately. Um, so I, I really m- had a. I was showing my son <clears throat> to how how to slow down, how to mm. meditate. We put on, I put on this monk music with bells and, um, seriously, this is real. And what I noticed is both of us were trying to not let the other one hear our breath. Hmm. It was like we were, I, I was, per, and I didn't know he was doing it until but I, that would make it shallow, right? Yeah. So you have to shallow breathe. And, and, and as, as we were doing it, I thought, this is kind of how I go through my day. Yes. I, I hold this Daddy tight. Daddy want to talk about that. Yeah, I hold this tight breath in my chest and I'm keyboard, keyboard, mm. type, type to phone who's coming in and to like, what time do I have to be there? And you're just, you're not breathing. Mm. And I didn't, oh, I didn't realize until we were in that meditative moment that there was such a contrast between what, what I knew we needed to do then versus how I walked through the day. And so I said to him, um, I was like, man, I just noticed I'm, it's still in my day with that tight breath ready for fight or flight or to mm-hmm. do something. And I was like, let's take, let's take deep breaths because you know, the ancient people believed mm-hmm. that the breath was your spirit, mm-hmm. you know, and whether that's perfect or not is irrelevant. There is an essence of that. That is 100% true to hold back and to hold in. And the difference in when you deep breathe and release that breath and let it be heard yeah, it's so true. and not worry about the inconvenience of others or that someone will notice you or there's so much psychology in the breath. And so we started this deep breathing and the, I just felt like anxiety yeah. go away. Um, I felt him really get it, which for a 16 year old who doesn't want to do spooky things with his dad. Yeah, that's spooky with the monks and the bells. No, mate. no, you know it's whatever saying? relaxes you. <laughs> Okay. No, but so true, Danny. And and I think what you experienced last night, I want to bring it here. I've actually got 10 accurate scientific, you know, um, things of what deep breathing does for our health, for our health journeys, for our overall health. And so many of us do so many things, all the things. Yet if we fail to breathe properly, I mean, that's really foundational, right? And so why are we talking about tweaking your S and tweaking your E and all these little things? If we don't have our breathing right. Have you guys all so, slowed down? Because I've majorly slowed down since we've talked yeah. about it. Like yeah. the breathing. And yesterday, yeah. you know. Almost like you guys can hear it in the mic, man. Yeah. And yeah just let them have it. I was just coming home um, from groceries. Serena and I have been in a uh, probably the busiest state we've been in in a long time. Just every minute's fill up. And I was just coming home. And my daughter met us once again at my, my home with the children while her husband's away. And I was just... Like you said, Danny, shallow breathing. I could feel it tense, knots in my shoulders and thinking, oh, but I go home, I got to do that. And then I got to do that. And then I was going to do that. And I'm like, and then the potty. We do not have information for potty. I'm not going to tell Serena to bring something. She needs to write on the book. I'm going to leave her alone. So what have I got? And then I didn't even think about potty, but I thought the instinct came to my head, Pearl, slow your breathing. Because I want to share a story. Some of you know this, but you know what happened to me a couple of years ago, probably over two years ago now was, uh, you know, I came down with Meniere's disease, which was horrific. Some of you have contacted me and said uh, that you've experienced it too. It's usually very long lasting, but I have overcome it. Thanks to God. But thanks in large part to deep belly breathing. And I read a book called Rock Steady and it just talked about how you know our neural pathways and our mind we have so many untapped ones and they're ready to be harnessed and they can overtake 
ones of anxiety, ones of, you know, when you put you're putting your body in alarm or all those things. And Meniere's is actually a physical sensation of vertigo. But it, it is a neural pathway telling your body what to do. So I was able to overcome that. But, you know, for a couple of years afterwards, it, I would feel it coming on. And how I overcame it to this day was to just lie in my bed slow everything down, just focus on my, my uh, abdomen area and just fill it in through my nose, slowly slow everything down, hold it just for a couple seconds, never count, I didn't want to be anxious about counting and four and seven out, no, none of that crap, just fill it with the essence of life air and then whew, let it out, keep going, I would just keep going until I felt my body relax and it was powerful, it has been powerful at keeping Meniere's disease away from me. But not only that, I've applied it to every part of my life. And mm. yesterday it was almost like knee-jerk pearl. I, I knew what that anxious state felt like, shallow yeah. breathing. I wasn't getting enough oxygen in. I was letting every part of my body be in a sympathetic state. And we'll talk about that. So I just started doing it, you know, and then I could just feel my body come back to, into alignment. My thoughts stopped racing. I could slow down, say, it's okay. You know, just started thanking God for my life. With deep breathing comes gratitude. And I got back into where a state where humans should be, even though my circumstances were exactly the same. Mm. Things were still crazy. So I thought, no, you know what? We should have done this potty like one of the first ones we ever did. But let's do it today. But it's so interesting because when you feel like you get into that shallow breathing is when life hits, mm. you know, hits the, the ceiling. You know, when yeah. everything gets crazy. And that's when you need to accomplish great things. That's needs when you need to pull off deadlines, but you're actually making your brain as dumb as it can be yes. <laughs> no, because you're getting you get the least dumb. amount of life to it. Yes. When these hard things happen, you think, oh no, I have to stop life and tend to this hard thing. Yeah, I have to get anxious about the hard thing, so I better shallow breathe. But the reality is mm. the hard thing is life. Yeah. And, you know, when you accept that, and <clears throat> things change, you know, I, I actually, um, I think we have untapped technology in our bodies. I do. Too. If you oh, could, yeah. if you could phrase it that way. Oh, I've experienced it, Dan. Mm -hmm. I, um, I, one of my kids was struggling with something and, uh, I was, I was at work and I was thinking about it, trying to work, but also stressed out. And I just decided that I was going to talk to him in the spirit mm -hmm. and, and so I did. And I, I just remember closing my eyes and, and saying, hey, you let that go. And feeling the energy behind that, feeling this, this, this realness that this was really real and that this mattered, that, that it wasn't like a belief and a cute thing I do to like give me peace inside. Like I really did a thing, an act happened and it mattered. And I think... Um, well, you know, the science world, and if you study quantum theory, and what Danny's saying is not demons talking to anything, no. don't get woo-woo about it. It's actually scientific fact that the quantum world, when one person thinks a thought over there and they're related to another person, they've actually studied it and the thoughts can travel into other people. Thoughts are light, they're matter. All of this stuff, Danny, Danny is not being weird by saying that. Yeah, and, and, and what if I'm right? Yeah. What if, like, you can speak things out and call things to to being oh, Tenny, are you quoting the ancient scriptures i mean it sounds <laughs> biblical you know i i think um i think our culture has lost some of these very powerful things and i think the mental health crisis going on in our children in this nation mm. is by and large in part of a, a loss of connection with the spirit but you know when you say the spirit i mean you know serene and i straight away are referring to the holy spirit. the holy spirit god but you know as a father i think i think that's amazing what you did you know as a father authority spoke in into the into the world you know to your child and called things as not they were into being of course you have power and authority to do that the, the women tend to be more vulnerable in this area and more willing to show up spiritually for their families mm. But man, the, the, the yin needs yang to come on out of the, 
shed yeah, no, and cool. speak that's together. That's what Arden's talking about, empowered men. But hey, I want to get to these 10 things. I What are we, 20, 20 minutes in? Oh my goodness, so these are kind of surprising things when we get our breathing right. And I, I want to talk about that so quick because it's not something you have to breathe correctly, as I said, like breathe in for a certain amount. I'm just going to tell you here what I've done. It's called slow breathing, deep breathing, belly breathing, diaphragmatic breathing, whatever it is. When you, several times a day, I try to do it. How do you, how do, you do it? And especially when I'm going to bed at night, um, whenever I'm stressed, but when I'm not stressed too, because you want to stay in a, a parasympathetic state. I'll, just, I'll say, explain this for just two minutes. Parasympathetic state is when we're resting and digesting. Our body comes into alignment, cortisol lowers, all our organs do what they're supposed to do and 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 we're not stressed. Sympathetic is when it's the opposite fight state. Or flight. Fight or flight. And you know, I hated that term fight or flight because so many people use it. Oh, you're in fight or flight. And I always used to think, I'm not in fight or flight. Stop saying I'm in fight or flight, <laughs> internet. Before I fight you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like I'm not having panic attacks. I don't have anxiety. Stop telling me I'm in fight or flight. Then I read the book Rock Steady and I realized... Fight or flight just means you're not in parasympathetic, Pearl. Yes. It means you're not resting and digesting. It means you're not deep breathing. You're in a shallow state. And the harm it does is beyond what I knew. Not being in the way I was created to be, which is in a state of peace, parasympathetic. Peace is our portion. I love it. I say that over myself yeah. all day long. So many things happen. I don't mm. digest my food. I don't burn fat. My blood sugar stays up, all of it. So let's go into it. Yeah, you said, how do I? I'll just tell you how I do it. Okay, put my hand on. I don't have to. I used to always put my hand on my diaphragm and just in through the nose. The nose is for breathing in. And so you can breathe out however you want. You can whoosh it. You can huff it. You can do it slowly. But I just go in slowly. I never count like. I feel it just come out. Tension come out of my shoulders. Kind of the release. It's the release. It's in slowly. Sometimes I hold it. Sometimes I won't. Whatever my body feels like. And then out. And I'll just do it for a couple of minutes. A few times a day. And it resettles me. And that is da 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 belly breathing. The power of it is absolutely astronomical. Number one, you won't think this, but it helps you shed fat. How? Okay. Yeah, how? Hold my because breath. Because the parasympathetic nervous system is a state of, <laughs> of mm -hmm. being able to metab wow. metabolically be in homeostasis. You could lose weight by breathing. Because when you're not in parasympathetic... You're in sympathetic. What does that mean? Your cortisol, cortisol. is elevated. When you have elevated cortisol, you keep fat on the belly. Yeah. You can't digest your meals properly. So what does that mean? Your insulin's not going to work properly. All the nutrients are not going to get into your cells, going to stay in your bloodstream. Bad. Okay. The other thing is it oxygenates you. When you have more oxygen, you... Um, you burn. Your body gets more oxygen and you're a burner. Like we say, we're all about being a burning body. So um, a 2018 study in the journal Physical Therapy of Science shows that practicing diaphragmatic breathing can boost metabolism by increasing VO2 max, which switches on fat burning. In a study of 38 people, half practiced diaphragmatic breathing, a method known as belly breathing, and half didn't. In the diaphragmatic breathing group, researchers, researchers found a significant difference in their total oxygen intake and their restic resting metabolic rate the other group did not experience any improvement isn't that amazing mm. um so so there are two ways yeah another study i'm gonna say a lot of studies i'll try to say them pretty quickly another PubMed study in women so this is good age 40 to 50 a lot of our listeners right this study aimed to examine whether sonobi breathing and that's just diaphragmatic breathing but it's in the japanese way they also lift their hands and they put their neck back but they do the same breathing um, of just one minute um, could increase body fat loss mm. okay so what they found let me get to the um, so what they did they learned how to do it for one minute they incorporate that for one month and they had two groups of, of women once again um, moreover, after repeating the exercise for a month, the group that used the Sanobi breathing showed significant loss of body fat, while the other group did not. Wow. Just, they didn't even wow. change diet or exercise. Wow. Isn't that incredible? It's amazing. 
Um, and they did I it. I love by, that we're revisiting this. Yeah, by regulating the nervous system and the so- hormone secretion. It changes your hormones. Because you and I, we, I mean, we've researched this, but you forget. It's like we, we did whole potties and we researched on slow eating. Yeah. But I'm back to <laughs> flipping well, not even. <laughs> like, I can't <laughs> even. I can't even do two chews before I'm freaking out like I'm desperate for that other bite. <laughs> I know. It goes with the same thing. They say like slowing down when you're eating, putting your fork down, having a few breaths. Oh, I never breathe when I eat. In fact, I'm more puffed than when I exercise. <laughs> yeah, it's so true. Okay, number two. Do you, ever, do you ever have to stop and hold the food in your mouth and just go... <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then start chewing again? Yes. Because you've gotten into like anaerobic. Yeah. yeah. Like, who's taught me to be a horse? I can't even know how I'll get through this because I have to pee. But number two, enhanced immunity. Oh, Danny, I can carry on while you pee. Don't worry about that. So slow breathing expands your lungs, gives you much more lung power. Why? What does that do to your cardiovascular system? It heals it, improves oh, it. They yeah. did studies on COPD people. And they did when they did slow breathing, their COPD was remarkably better. Mm. Um like Serene said, though, essentially when you have higher cortisol, when you're in that sympathetic state, you have more stress. And what does stress do? Give rise to mm. all diseases. Oh. Right? So um, it's breathing is essential for re- – and this is another way it helps us. It regulates our lymphatic system. Mm. And so what does our lymphatic system do? Get rid of Detox. all the junk. Detoxes our body. And, it, and the network of tissues and organs in our body help detoxify. It transports the lymph and the fluids that contain the powerful infection-fighting white blood cells throughout the body. So when we're shallow breathing, you know, and you don't even know you are until you, until you know you are. I yes, didn't know I was finally, doing it all my life until two years ago. When you finally do a, a beautiful deep breath, you're like, oh, that's new. Yeah. <laughs> you know what deep breathing that's does? That's great. It deals with anxiety oh, quite so acutely huge. because part of anxiety is <clears throat> is the hold on. It's the yeah, tightness. Yeah, it's the tightness. And the opposite of anxiety would be the let go yeah. and the the slow down. You know, mm. you're always you're 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 being like whipped forward by mm. anxiety to the race yeah. because if only I could get these tasks knocked mm. out, yeah, I would ha- be able to let the, ang- the then the anxiety would yeah. go away. I'm only anxious because of my task. And, you know, to slow down, it almost like forces your body to like confess that it's not the tasks. Yeah. It's this root of anxiety. So true. And Denny, you get a, you did a good picture. You're like, hold on rather than let go. And that's mm-hmm. the lymphatic system, right? If it is not flowing, letting go, going throughout the whole body, mm-hmm. excreting things. Physics. But it's we're the way we were made. We, weren't, we weren't made to run around with all of the stress. And that's what one of my biggest revelations in the Bible, you know, how people get different revelations, personal things, yeah. you know, that, that really touch them. And my big thing is just, wow, just the enormity of the honor of being able to enter into his rest. Mm. You know, when he says, enter into my rest. Enter. And it was, he was all about it. And that whole picture of the Sabbath and everything, it's all just a typology of all of this. It is. To enter into his rest. We weren't designed to carry all of these burdens. And I think there's no more deeper deep soul rest that allows for this breathing than when we can to rest in god yes and but do you know what i find with the physical because it's on a spiritual yes. level and it's deeper than the physical <laughs> but what i find you know how baptism is a very physical thing yes. we actually show that our sins are being washed so we go into water yes. and then come back up and it's a symbol sometimes we have to do physical things oh, I agree. to do a spiritual thing well, and it's a, like you know the you can be in a state where, where and you're like not even entering into God's rest. Yeah. And then you say, now I will. And you slow. Oh. And and then your mind can. Oh, I agree. And I think that's where the whole undefeated men thing, you know, yeah. it's actually a mental and spiritual thing, maybe even above all. But what are they doing? They're, they're acting it out in a very physical, Let's gonna, we're going to lift weights. We're yeah. going to become strong because it's a, it's a representation of what's going on on the inside. You know when my anxiety is the highest? peak state i've ever felt it is when i try to work out really it brings i've never all, been so relaxed yeah it brings up just huge anxiety really as i'm yeah when i'm but when are you I'm, breathing are you learn to breathe through it dan yeah i'm breathing what I, kind I, of music are you listening to because everybody's different like i know people that have to listen to the most yeah. metal clanging <laughs> yeah. you know and it's just how they do it they love it yeah. but i have to listen to almost bath music 
I, when I'm lifting heavy weights because my I, my nervous system can't handle the two. So it depends. Maybe maybe you need a more relaxing environment when you. No, I exercise. I think that um, there's something about the breakthrough oh. and the anxiety. I don't. It puts its finger on on things. There's oh, okay. a fear um, that just when when you're when you're pushing through like the the rep that is too much for you. Yeah. You know, it starts to put its finger on maybe life's too much for mm. you. Maybe maybe parenting's you don't feel qualified. Maybe you're gonna maybe you're gonna freak out and it's all gonna fall apart. Mm. Maybe you're not gonna be able to take care of this family. You know, I think there's a lot of psychology that happens when yeah, I'm pushing and through I my, agree. my and current positive limits. too. Well, that's what he's kind yeah. of saying. Well, it deal. That's the thing. I have to keep pushing. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll start to get really anxious, and then I'll stop. I'll be like, oh, keep talking. okay. He has <laughs> yeah, we'll just we'll just talk. Yeah, amongst we just ourselves. can't keep talking while She'll you're just like, do a call. Hey, husband. Yeah, yeah, we'll act like we're not just, recording. Yeah. And yeah. Hi, Sam. Danny, yeah. Danny says. Hi. I didn't told us to turn our phone off, Lady Jane. Hey, Danny. There's like a producer looking at you. Am I allowed to go to the bathroom? We can break, and then we we'll break? just come back. So we were um, 0.3 reduced anxiety and depression before I went potty. Okay, so as we know, slow breathing stimulates the parasympathetic sympathetic nervous system, which promotes a state of calmness. So now I want to talk about a study. There were so many studies that I didn't know how to choose yeah. for this. It uh, lowers anxiety and depression. So I just chose I one. I can even get anxious about things like that when yeah. we're writing books. <laughs> anxious about what to do. So I chose one that was a review of all the studies. They looked at thousands of studies on whether diaphragmatic breathing does or does not. So they came to a very, very uh, strong conclusion that it absolutely does. And and they concluded, I will quote it. It was an article called How Breath Can, Contr- can Ch- Breath Control Can Change Your Life. I'll quote what they said. It's going to be very sciencey, but you can kind of get it. So with controlled breathing, studies show an increase in alpha and a decrease in theta power. Anatomically, the only available MRI study highlights increased activity in the cortical, prefrontal motor and parietal cortices of the brain and subcortical, blah, blah, goes into a lot of things, but structures. It actually changes the brain, increases Mm. those areas. Psychological behavior outputs related to the above mentioned changes are Increased comfort, relaxation, pleasant thoughts, mm. vigor, alertness, and reduced symptoms of anxiety, depression, anger, and confusion. Slow breathing techniques act enhancing autonomic, 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 yeah, cerebral and psychological flexibility in a scenario of mutual interactions. We found evidence of links between parasympathetic activity, CNS activities. Increase EEG alpha power and decrease EEG theta power related to emotional control and psychological well-being in subjects. That is amazing. I mean, it's just there. And that's can so, I just, you know, scientific proof. That's thousands of studies and that's their conclusion. Can I just rabbit trail for one second? But it's not really rabbit trailing. Um, I think sometimes you can get so busy being an adult that you stop doing certain things that lend themselves to deep breathing. I had two activities in my life that lent themselves to deep breathing. And I don't okay. do them anymore. What? I'm too busy to sing now. Because yes. I'm think- when I'm not working, I'm thinking for the working. And I can't really sing a song about nothing. I like to worship, you know. Yeah. But I just... I- Cooking is singing. Singing time in the kitchen for me. I, don't, I haven't had a chance to cook. Oh. Yes. Oh, your children at the age where they're all cooking for themselves. But you put together a... Sp- oh, I cook bread movie. and make bread and all that. But the house has already got 5,000 songs at the true. same time. Everyone else is singing because they're young and they're not stressed. Yeah. So they're singing. But anyway, all that to say singing, <laughs> diaphragmatic breathing is where we first heard yeah. about. Singing was where we first heard about diaphragmatic breathing. We were taught to diaphragmatic breathe to sing to get that huge breath so that you can hold any note or the long stanzas. So naturally, because we went to singing training... Singing was always diaphragmatic yeah. breathing for me. The other one is nursing, which I've mm, aged out of. Yeah. But that was that whole oxytocin, yes. which is that relaxing hormone and prolactin. They're very comforting, relaxing hormones. And when you sit, you can't do anything. You're just made to sit. You are. So many times a day, you're just made to sit. Do you? And it, the house could be falling around I'm around you. Other breathing. children are going crazy. The baby's crying. You put it to the breast and you just sit there and you go. <sighs> you don't even try and deep breathe. You no. just do. <laughs> 
The other thing, though, I thought about this today too. Unless you've got a breast infection, then you're not deep breathing, you're screaming. <laughs> yeah, then you're like... <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is laughing. Have you ever noticed when you laugh and laugh and laugh and then everyone at the same time goes, ah. Oh. Yeah. You're, you know, yeah. you do like that thing. You, you exhale. Everyone exhales at the end of a do laugh. you know what we did last night? My son and I took uh, juice and held it without swallowing and then we hit these funny videos on YouTube that were like designed, like a, try not to laugh yeah. videos. Oh my goodness. Were you spurting it everywhere? We were screaming and <laughs> laughing so hard as we spewed. <laughs> we had a trash can in front of us. Oh my God, that's we so would gross. spew so hard, that's so gross. but I, it was a yeah. full ab workout Yes, yes. from here to here. Oh. I, I'm still in pain. Like I did. Yeah. Like I went past my limit in a gym yesterday. <laughs> that's so wow. good. That's we were amazing. scream crying. Oh. We, I mean, you can't, Everyone should try that with their family. Like, take a drink if of water. If you can't nurse, you've you got to, to swallow juice and I mean, not swallow. Hold it in your mouth. Hold it in your Whoa. mouth and watch it. Just type in "try not to laugh" on YouTube. Oh, uh, okay. So the so number four fun. is decrease pain. So when you are in that sympathetic state and all your muscles are tense, it causes inflammation and pain in your body. And any pain that you already have is made worse. Have you noticed can that? I, can I can I interrupt yes, again? Yes, you can. After babies, they never told us. Mom never told us that when you come through labor after your first baby, you will have another labor. Oh yeah. Right? It's the after it's when when you, after pains. After pains. Birth. Right. Especially as you have more children, the more the stronger your after pains are. Like making everything contract back. The uterus contracts, yes. Well. Wow. I'm telling you what, I refuse because I'm a purist to take the, the, the ibuprofen. ibuprofen because I'm like, I've already done a natural labor. Why yeah. am I going to take drugs now? I already did. I did the so, natural labor. Then I was like, give me all the ibuprofen, all of it. <laughs> but my, my theory was there was no way to get through that without you deep breathe like you've yeah. never <gasps> like that just to get through it. Mm. Well, I'm telling you, it took the pain. It's a natural pain reliever. Mm. The I, I just the deep breathing took the pain oh, and away. Labor. I didn't know how to deep breathe in my first labor, and of course, first ones are hard. But as I got on, you know, my fifth pregnancy, my fifth labor, I knew how to breathe through those contractions, and it helped so incredibly. But I didn't know how to apply that to the other parts of my life. No, I didn't ha know how to apply it to the first part of labor. Yeah. Just the second. The, Until you go end. through something like I am so thankful. I'm not thankful for Mania's disease. It's a jolly awful thing, and I wish it on nobody. But I'm thankful I went through it. Well, you could turn everything around for good, right? Yes. Okay, decrease pain. So when you get into that parasympathetic, you know, more oxygen is released. Oxygen, of course, um, pulls down your pain. I mean, and then cortisol lowers. But here's the thing. What happens is endorphins are released. Mm. Endorphins are natural pain relievers. It, those of you that have suffered with migraines, and I have, um, the best thing to do is you first feel it coming on. It doesn't really help when you're in the middle. I mean, it helps you manage and get through, but it's not going to take it away. But if you are just starting with that headache, you start oftentimes it mm. starts in the neck, shoulders because they're all tense because you've been shallow breathing. A lot of my headaches have been from shallow breathing. And just, oh my goodness, you feel it's the first sign to start deep breathing. Mm. It can cut it off. It's incredible. What are migraines? I've never had a migraine that I know of. You would know it. <laughs> okay. What causes my, why did some people have them every day? Yeah. Every day. They're oh, like, Lord. oh, I get migraines yeah. and they'll just ch clock out of work. I mean, no, their it's, job, it's terrible. I understand. You can't you go blind sometimes. Like, you like, can't you look cluster. at light. Like if I had a migraine right now, I couldn't be in this room. Like the light. What brings that be, on? What is, I don't, uh, you know, it's just some people. Like magnesium? What? No, I mean, some people just, they, ha and um, sometimes it can be sensitivities. Yeah. Food just sensitivities. Certain, or, certain things. Like it's just the way your blood vessels constrict and dilate and things like sometimes that sometimes it could be hormonal but too. yeah it can and it's just um okay yeah there's a word but i've forgotten it. but we need to get through this i don't know that would be a whole potty on migraines okay um so five of course improve stress management and um that's just a given right yeah but um, so six, lowers inflammation. A study conducted by BMC Complementary and Alternative Medicine reported that doing deep breathing exercises for as short as 20 minutes, to me that's long, I never do it that long, mm. can reduce significantly stress. Well, if you have monks and bells and you officially yeah, make it a thing, maybe you could do 20 minutes. Um, can the officially nice. lower inflammation when measured. Um, researchers took the saliva of 20 participants and remember saliva is what you use to test cortisol you don't necessarily test in the blood you can do it's much better test in saliva and they examined the degree of cytokines in the body which are kind of biomolecule and cytokines are 
um, they're always associated with inflammation, disease, things like that. And they were lowered after the breathing exercise. Mm -hmm. Oxidative stress was also lowered. Um, you said co saliva is for measuring what? Cortisol. Cortisol, yeah. I thought it was for licking. <laughs> licking. It's for many things, but yeah. Like your spoon. Um, so seven is higher energy levels. You know, when you think about deep breathing, just sitting there and getting into a parasympathetic state, yeah. you think, oh, yeah, I'm kind of just sitting there tired out of energy. But actually... Even though slow breathing calms you down, it actually will increase mm. your energy levels later. Mm -hmm. Because what does it do? It supplies your your blood with higher levels of oxygen. It's probably instead of like a caffeine yeah. energy, it's like an L-theanine energy, like a calm focus. Calm focus is exactly oh. what's going to re. You're like calm you're like focus. an author of a study because <laughs> they said it allows for a calm focus yeah. and alert throughout the day, steady as a rock. Wow. Number eight, reduce blood pressure. Literally, mm. study after study talks about the decrease. It just happens. Mm. You know, there's whole things that you can buy, whether you do these deep breathing exercises, you know, and, and over like two or three months, people can get off their blood pressure medication. Ooh, wow. That's wild. They There's, follow these. That's what yeah. I'm talking about, like wild technology, like really real technology in your body. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, because they, you know, one way to look at medicine is like technology. Mm -hmm. it, it's biotechnology. It mm -hmm. hacks and changes right, and right. does a thing to your body. But if breathing can, you mm. can not be on pills. Shows yeah. you how smoking and vaping and all this stuff must be so horrendous. It's so horrendous. Yeah. It, it must affect your life force. You know, the yeah. old way was to look at the breath as life force. Mm -hmm. What if that's not off? You know, no, why, why is that an well, Eastern? Well, he put the breath of life into yeah. us. He calls it the breath of life. So number nine, and I love this one, um, better sleep. And you think, oh, that's a given. I'm going to slow down when I go to sleep. And I think it's one of the best times to just start that deep breathing. And I always try to combine it with gratitude. You know, think of things in my day just to be grateful for. In with the thought of gratitude and then thank you, you know. But they found that it literally increases the hormone melatonin. And melatonin is our sleep hormone. Mm. And deep breathing makes higher levels in our body and um it also synchronizes our heart rate for restful sleep stages it puts when we you know how the different sleep stages and then you oh, get yeah, into these yeah. yeah so you get into more deeper ones mm. when you do this before you go to sleep nice. wow you it. know my son this morning we did the breathing he said he had one of the best nights yeah. rest most restful nights of his life oh, that's amazing it's, and, yeah wow. it's so good that you're teaching him at this age because he can use it as a tool for the rest of his life yeah sam has started to do this before nothing to do with you and i but yeah. he started to just um really getting to deep breathing in fact he started he? to do the cold plunging you know with yeah. arden and undefeated men around here um yeah. and wim hof is one of those cold plunge people but he also has a breathing thing i think but Normally, I just put my head on his chest as we go to sleep. Yeah. And but the other night, I was like, "Your breathing is so different. What are you doing?" He's like, "Oh, I'm deep breathing." <laughs> nice. I'm like, "Why are you deep breathing?" He's like, "Oh, I've just been reading about how it's going to be so good for my sleep and it's going to help me lose weight and all this stuff." Oh, wow. But I could tell it was different. So he doesn't ordinarily no. do good slow breathing yeah. because it was like this is a whole human, different human being right here. Do you know? I think though, when we go to bed, is some of the worst times where we can actually get into shallow breathing because that's a time where it used to be for me that was my darkness time really? where I would actually get into states of fear right oh. as I went to bed because I could think of all my worries yeah the worries for that day the worries for the next day but when you decide to deep breathe you can't have worries at the same time it's like these two different planes and one doesn't gel with the other you actually Worries go, yeah. deep breathing starts, yes, gratitude so starts. So true. So you choose and the worries come. You're like, okay, start my deep breathing. It's a sign for your brain to get into gear and just shove them all aside. Um, this is be interesting. Number 10, we're getting through it. Can't believe it. Mm. Number 10, Danny, you'll love this. Relieve symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome. Wow. Okay, so there can be digestive benefits of deep breathing, says uh, Dr. Megan Elizabeth, clinical assistant professor and health psychologist at the University of Michigan. The psychological movements of the diaphragm, physiological, sorry, can help relieve tension in the digestive tract and can help with GERD. I just realized how Con tense my stomach was just then. 
when you said tension and the digestive yeah. tract, I just let go. Yeah. And it was like four <laughs> inches of tightness just let go. Yes. Yeah, me too. When you said yeah. that, I did it. So, no, it was just clamped up as tight as a tick. You, because, people hold their bodies in certain yes, ways too. Yeah. Like I didn't notice until in uh, – I started getting like pictures and stuff done that like I like hold my <laughs> left side up <laughs> in the sure, air. I so I was so I thought my right arm was longer. <laughs> I was like I have a longer and so I'd look in the mirror and I would be like it's like 6 inches longer and then I would just go like hold almost had to stretch it yeah. back into yeah. like and you know what it was from? When I was in construction I always uh, carried the heavy tools oh. yeah. and then I opened the door with this hand. Oh, okay. I, every day of my life was constant left hand filled with huge weight, yeah. holding, leaning this way, right hand, shaking hands, opening doors, ah, moving this or that. Very interesting. And so, yeah, from, I think from the construction days, it, yeah, it I learned to like thing. hold my body in tension. Oh, for huh. sure. And, and not only good, but constipation, diarrhea and urgency, um, a small study of adults with IBS published in 2020 found that training and progressive muscle relaxation and diaphragmatic breathing led to improvements in IBS, depression, and quality of life. Think about it, though. We have a whole uh, brain in our gut. Oh, yeah. A whole brain? Yeah. yeah. And yep. so there's the gut brain and the mind brain. Yeah. Like actual neurons. <laughs> yeah. Are living and when there. we actually belly breathe and get oxygen down in to there, the can brain. you imagine what it is happening? Mm. I think... You know, those of us that are tighties, constipated. I mean, urge diarrhea can be associated with anxiety, yes, but so can constipation because sometimes oh, yeah. I find that when I'm holding myself and like you said, Danny, this holding state, not letting go state, that can trigger constipation too. It's kind of like when you travel, right? And you're not at your home where you can relax. And oh, you, you, my bowel knows my home. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> And I just walk in the door after a long trip and, and it's I was like, like, finally can go to the bathroom properly. You know, to make it worse, you install a bidet. Now your body is like, it will never happen without my bidet. Oh, really? Oh, because you're going to be a funky monkey. Is that right? You're a I filthy don't know cave about person bidet. and you didn't know oh, it. Oh, because you want to be so clean. Crispy clean. Oh, crisp. My husband, I don't know. It's OCD obsession with being clean after number two. Yeah. Wipe so hard and s oh, I know yeah. I don't How do you watch know? him do you suspect? No, because Inspection. she know you know he she tells knows. she's me, into that. I'm, he tells me he won't mind hopefully about this. He will. But sometimes he he's like yeah. I'm like Charlie he's Barrett. had issues and and he's like, Yeah, I get you know, I said, Well, do you have any issues like with bleeding from the rectum or stuff when he was having some bowel issues? He's like yeah. yeah, but not from that. That's because I wipe hard. From a you got to get clean. Wiping. <laughs> he wipes That's that real. hard. Look, I got some tips from an old <laughs> And then pro. he buys special cloths and he we should just get a bidet. Yeah, you should get a bidet for sure. I don't know why um, we're ending with this and ruining first this you've good got party. To get your your uh, that the special glute machine before you get a boudet. First Why? things first. Well, the money has to go to the most important oh, thing. Yeah, you can totally well course. wipe Look, hard with paper. Without yeah. a bidet, you're smearing <laughs> and you're using <laughs> abrasion until it's mostly gone. I'm See, that's what you're thinking. Nothing. I don't think those thoughts in my head, but you and my husband do, obviously. Yes. I reckon if you have the perfect kind of bowel situation, there's no smear. There's just a perfect little... And oh, maybe just, you do with your perfect gut, yeah, perfect with your girl. princess gut there's on no your princess cruise, or, or. with the fruit just so. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, yes. The rest of us take peanut butter dumps. Hey, <laughs> you you put down that figgy pear thrive brew. That's gonna help you get the Am perfect poop. Am I right, poop. studio audience? I love the thrive brew kombucha. Yeah, it's fighting with a jar of you peanut butter. You don't Let drink enough you. kefir. If you have some kefir, it will help you have that perfect. I'm done. Boop. Yeah, I'd love that. I'd love to you get know, it's the done. way the sausages separate. <laughs> like links. <laughs> yes. A little little pinch. But here's the thing. <laughs> with the bidet, with the bidet, you're just drying. You just have to dry. That sounds a lot of work. There's long. no more wiping. What do you mean? Are the, the air blows and dries for you? They do have those. Because I don't want just a little. You could get a little bit too moist and get a rash. You can get, you can get a heated bidet. It'll heat the water. And then it's this warm experience. What a great podcast that we've ruined. Serene. We kind Serene. of have. Trust me, if you get a bidet, you will come back to this conversation. Well, we save money on toilet paper, won't we? You'll I'm save always money running on... out of toilet paper. Yeah, you barely use it. I just, just feel drying. like it would be much longer. First of all, you have to use a bidet for washy wash. Then you have to use a bidet for dryy dry. Hold on. And you know. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. you, you start... What if you're doing hormones too in particular areas? Hey, you start, to, you start to look forward. 
yeah. You start to no, look forward the, to the finish. Yeah. See, now now it's not right without that crisp, cool. You have a bidet right now. Yeah, girl. Does Miss Wait, how I mean, much right should it cost? Does Mrs. Valdez use the bidet? Yeah. She loves it. How yeah. how much should it cost? Thousands? No, you could get one for a hundred bucks. It's what? called Tushy. Yeah. Yeah, but that's some cheaper thing, eh? Does it live no, in it's your a toilet? Good one. It's a quality. Or do you one. have to go somewhere and put your bummy somewhere else? No, it's it it it's this little nozzle. That so you install this thing under your toilet seat and it's just a Do nozzle. you have the the direction in your hand? Like can you direct it? Oh yeah. It's got I a little don't want the ones that just fountain like over any everything. Anytime my hand is underneath there that there could be little You're stuff. not going under there. You're not. No, it's you, you activate, you choose the pressure, you know, you want to lift off the seat, you can lift off the seat. <laughs> But you're it's also so going to get it. strong that it lifts you no, up. No, you'll get it. It'll give you an whoosh, enema. Whoosh, you go up in the air. That could be dangerous. It'll give you an enema. Really? If you if you go too, too I hard. I think my husband will love it. That's his birthday But what happens present. if the heater runs out and it's just freezing cold? All these guys like have the got cold. up. They're done. They're moving around. The crew's starting to move. Sit down. Sit One of them down. fell asleep. I was like, well, we suck. <laughs> we do. Every time they get up, I feel like we suck. We suck But now. we do suck right now. Look at their body language. Goodbye, everybody. We suck. We <laughs> suck.